Repeat your amusement park vocabulary one last time. Der Freizeitpark. Der Vergnügungspark. And again, those can both mean amusement park in essence. The next two mostly mean a fair, which is kind of like an amusement park. Der Rummelplatz. Der Jahrmarkt. Die Achterbahn. Die Wasserrutsche. Die Geisterbahn. And a reminder, a Geisterbahn, even though it translates as the ghost ride, it's in essence a fun house that you ride through. Let's continue. Das Riesenrad. Das Karussell. Die Schießbude. Die Spielbude. Der Lukas. Der Autoscooter. Der Luftballon. Die Zuckerwatte. Das Windrädchen. Der kandierte Apfel. Das Popcorn. Die Brezel. Die Erdnuss. And again the plural. Die Erdnüsse. Die Eistüte. Der Lutscher. Good. In the last lesson, we learned special forms of the verb mürgen, called the subjunctive, and we learned how to make a polite request saying, I would like, you would like, etc., and the forms were, ich möchte, du möchtest, er möchte, wir möchten, ihr möchtet und sie möchten. And we use this verb in sentences such as, ich möchte eine Brezel, I would like a pretzel. It's a polite request. Ich möchte. And we learned how to refer to riding a ride at the amusement park using the verb fahren with the word mit and the dative case. We said, for example, I'm riding and I rode the roller coaster. Ich fahre mit der Achterbahn. Ich bin mit der Achterbahn gefahren. The future tense of that would be, of course, Ich werde mit der Achterbahn fahren. With the infinitive coming at the end, as we've learned. And just like the future tense using werden, where the other verb is at the end in its infinitive form, we've learned the same structure is used with the helping verbs können, to be able to, or can, dürfen, to be allowed to, or permitted, or may, wollen, to want to, sollen, should, or supposed to, müssen, to have to, or must, and mürgen, as we already know, means, if you use a subjunctive form, would like to do something. With all of these verbs, we would put an infinitive at the end. Look at the sentence example I have here. Here's the future. Ich werde mit dem Riesenrad fahren. I will ride the Ferris wheel. I could change that word werde to the first verb, können, and it becomes ich kann, I can, mit dem Riesenrad fahren. Or ich darf, I'm allowed to, or may. Or ich will, I want to. And the word fahren is at the end. The sentence structure is exactly the same. Ich soll, I should ride the Ferris wheel. Ich muss, I have to, I must ride the Ferris wheel. And now, the one we just learned, ich möchte, I would like to ride the Ferris wheel. Ich möchte mit dem Riesenrad fahren. But if you don't have the verb werden or one of these helping verbs, yet you need to have an infinitive in a sentence for some reason, well then, often the word zu, zu, comes before the infinitive. Let me show you what I mean. Here are two good expressions to know. To feel like, Lust haben and to be afraid to, angst haben. So, if I want to say, I feel like riding the Ferris wheel, it is said this way. Ich habe Lust, mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. Notice the infinitive at the end, and the word zu in front of it, because there's no helping verb in this sentence, so I need the word zu. Ich habe Lust, mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. And if I want to say, I'm afraid of riding the Ferris wheel, I would say it this way. Ich habe Angst, but the rest of the sentence, the same as above, mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. So to get used to these two expressions, repeat the following sentences after me. Say, you feel like riding and you're afraid to ride the Ferris wheel. Du hast Lust mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. Du hast Angst mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. Say, he feels like riding the carousel or the merry-go-round, and she's afraid to do so. Er hat Lust, mit dem Karussell zu fahren. Sie hat Angst, mit dem Karussell zu fahren. 
We feel like riding and are afraid to ride the Dodgem car, the bumper car. Wir haben Lust mit dem Autoscooter zu fahren. Wir haben Angst mit dem Autoscooter zu fahren. Say you in formal plural feel like riding and are afraid to ride the Ride in Fun House. Ihr habt Lust mit der Geisterbahn zu fahren. Ihr habt Angst mit der Geisterbahn zu fahren. Say they feel like riding the roller coaster and are afraid to ride the Ferris wheel. Sie haben Lust mit der Achterbahn zu fahren. Sie haben Angst, mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. Good. And by the way, if you want to say you don't feel like or aren't afraid to do something, just put the word keine before Lust and Angst and you have it. For example, Ich habe keine Lust, mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. I don't feel like riding the Ferris wheel. And... Ich habe keine Angst, mit dem Riesenrad zu fahren. I'm not afraid to ride the Ferris wheel. And by the way, if you wanted to say, I don't feel like it, just say this. Ich habe keine Lust. That's a good expression to know. Repeat that. Ich habe keine Lust. Good. And let me introduce one more word to you. The word great. Nifty. Cool. Say it. Toll. Again, toll. That's just one of the many ways to say this. Now repeat four short sentences with this word. Say that the try your strength machine is great. Der Lukas ist toll. The water slide is great. Die Wasserrutsche ist toll. The shooting gallery is great. Die Schießbude ist toll. And the games or the game booths are great. Die Spielbuden sind toll. Good job. Wiedersehen.